Here is your video for slide 15. Here are all of the chemicals. We have citric acid, sucrose, calcium chloride, the mystery mixture, sodium chloride, calcium carbonate, ascorbic acid, sodium carbonate, and sodium bicarbonate, magnesium sulfate, which you were supposed to learn about all these chemicals on the page before. This is the well I will be using to show you the different chemicals. For slide 16, all you have to do is write in the chemicals I mixed and what you noticed. In well one is the mystery mixture, so I will put two drops of that and we will observe. So we're mixing the mystery mixture with the mystery mixture. Now I'm going to fill the pipette with water. And we'll drop it into the mystery mixture, mystery mixture. We'll see what happens. bubbling and fizzing, but we need to determine what's in this mixture, mystery mixture. Now I can mix whatever I want in the next 11 wells. So I'm going to start with citric acid and sucrose. So you want to write down citric acid and sucrose. This is what citric acid and sucrose looks like. It's very crystallized. Citric acid is what is found in most fruits and then sugar. So now I'm going to show you what happens when I add a pipette of water to it. doesn't look like anything happens compared to the first. Next, I'm gonna try ascorbic acid and sodium carbonate. So that is well three. So the citric acid and the sucrose look like it's starting to dissolve or come closer together. So in well three, like I said, I put in ascorbic acid and sodium carbonate. It looks kind of flaky and powdery together. So let's see what happens when I add the water. It's definitely fizzing much more. It does have bubbles, but the fizz is a lot more than what we saw in the beginning. It's really cool. If you need to pause this video anytime, go for it, or you can go back. In well four, I'm going to try calcium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate and see if there's a reaction. So that's well four. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's kind of clumpy, and there's also a fine looking sugar or salt. So let's see what happens when I add water. It doesn't look like anything's happening. It just looks more cloudy. In well five, I'm gonna try citric acid and sodium chloride. 
once again, crystal-like and clumpy powder. Let's see what happens when I add water. Doesn't really look like anything's happening. I'll try sodium bicarbonate and sodium chloride. This is well six. Very fine grains. Let's see what happens when I add water. Became very cloudy. Still doesn't look like well one. None of them seem to. I mean, three seems the most similar, but there's leftover residue. In well seven, I'm going to try calcium chloride and magnesium sulfate to see if there'll be a reaction. And this is what it looks like. They're big clumps between the road salt and the Epsom salt, which once again is calcium chloride and magnesium sulfate. Let's see what happens when I add water. Just getting kind of cloudy again. Still doesn't look like well one, the mystery mixture. Next, I'm gonna mix the mystery mixture with ascorbic acid and see what happens. That is going to be in well eight. Looks like that. Very grainy like. Here's what happens when I add water. Definitely some fizzing. Seems very similar to the third one. Still seems more than just the mystery mixture by itself. In well nine, I'll try baking soda because a lot of the kids thought that it looked like there was baking soda. And I'll try some table salt. So sodium chloride, sodium bicarbonate. Okay, this is what it looks like. Let's focus it. Little granules, it's grainy, crystal-like. See what happens when I add some water. Definitely not that big of a reaction compared to that. So definitely isn't baking soda and table salt. So I'm going to try sodium bicarbonate and citric acid and see what happens. That is in well 10. So this is what it looks like. So we have baking soda and citric acid. What happens when I add water? Wow. That still seems like way too much. But that's the most rapid fizzing I've seen yet. It's really cool. It's very, very close. It still reminds me of three more so than one. I will try sodium bicarbonate again, the baking soda with ascorbic acid. This is what it looks like. Now I'm going to add some water. Hmm. Might this might be what's in the mystery mixture? I'm not sure. This one has a residue still, so it definitely cannot be citric acid and sodium bicarbonate. Let's see if this one leaves a residue. We'll come back to that in a minute. Next I'm going to try sugar 
and Epsom salt. So sucrose and magnesium salt is what it looks like. I'm going to add some water. Doesn't look like there's much of a reaction. This one is still going. I'm thinking it's probably the most similar to the mystery mixture, but I guess we'll find out in the next lesson. So please make sure you fill out what you see, what I used on slide 16 of Class Kick. Correction, these are all on slide 15, not 16. 16 will be in the next lesson.